guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is a Galentine get ready with me with my girls, Vanessa Beauty and Unfiltered 50s. Her name is Jeannie, so I'm so excited. We have three different looks for you guys that is gonna be super fun. And also at the end of this video, be on the lookout because all three of us have a major giveaway. So definitely stay tuned. If you wanna know how I got this look, this very simple Valentine look, then keep on watching. I don't think I've celebrated Galentine's with my girlfriends. The last time I had like a girls outing was when we went to like a hot springs in Sonoma County. It was a whole day thing. We ate at a nice place, tried the hot springs and it was great. It was really great. My idea of a Galentine's is really not about dressing like super hot and super sexy. I think there's two kinds of Galentines, right? Like the Las Vegas kind of going out where it's full on makeup, full on sexy clothes. And the Galentines that I'm thinking about is more in the casual, a movie date with, you know, coffee or maybe a brunch. Yeah, I curled my hair for you guys. <laughs> which I rarely do. I, I do love it, but just I don't have the time to curl my hair. You've seen Vanessa on my channel several times, right? We've done several collabs because we both love skincare. So Vanessa's channel, all about skincare. You have to watch her upcoming videos about Tatcha because she is trying the whole Tatcha skincare line. Well, maybe not all of it, but a good big part of it and so i'm so excited to know what's really good you know what's worth purchasing because tatcha is so expensive now genie i've collabed with her a long time ago she is so sweet she is the sweetest her channel is called unfiltered 50s she's all about makeup 50 and over and just keeping it real i think she's the person that has the most amount of makeup. I mean, she always has the latest and the greatest makeup, and I can't wait to see what she pulls out of there. I mean, her place is literally like a Sephora. She has everything, and it's so fun to see her in that light, and also she's so funny. I miss Jeannie, and I'm so glad I got to collab with her, especially on this Galentine look. We are going to do a Galentine get ready with me. Hopefully, this will inspire you guys to create your own makeup makeup look from one of our own makeup looks, Jeannie, Vanessa, and I. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little quick tutorial. Part of doing a Galentine's look is all about the prep. The night before, I usually do a mask and I love doing like a skin balancing mask like this one from Face Story. Really good. I love everything from Face Story. Um, the Face Story line is usually plant-based or like clean beauty. So no harsh chemicals, very good ingredients. So I love this. This is the Olive Squalane Skin Balancing Mask. So I usually try this on at night, the night before. That way when I wake up in the morning, my face is well hydrated, well balanced, nothing super oily. Of course, I need to do my skincare underneath, right? I put my acne medicine, but when you see a zit like this one right here, it's pretty inflamed. It's not that bad, but this is one of the smaller ones. <laughs> when they're red like that, I like to use tea tree oil. This is from the body shop, and I really love this because tea tree actually calms the redness for me. It's not just for more new acne, but even the older ones where sometimes you have peeling, you don't want peeling underneath your foundation. When I put this, it just makes the foundation go on more smoothly. Oh yes, <clears throat> a lip scrub. This one is from Lush, my bubble gum lip scrub that I got during the winter time. I haven't tried a lot of Lush products, Mm, tastes like bubble gum and just kind of prep the lips for you so you don't have any dryness or cracking on the lips the kind of look that i'm going for for you guys is kind of korean inspired 
I don't know about you, but I've been watching a lot of K-dramas lately and I am so hooked. Where have I been? Like I've been hiding in a hole because I just watched like two of the best Korean dramas and made me depressed. <laughs> just so sad you're totally engrossed in the drama and in the situation and the love life between the two and it's not even like corny drama like it's so good like they make it so realistic there's never a boring or dull moment my most favorite one right now is crash landing and i'm having a hard time getting over that movie. I mean, it's like a story about North and South Korea. Two people that fell in love, but they but they literally can't be together because their countries are, are separated. I was telling my husband the other day, it just makes every other person's love story look like shit compared to theirs. So, K-pop, very fresh, very hydrated. And that's usually the kind of look that I stay away from because, you know, I'm oily. I don't want to look like a frying pan, you know? <laughs> but you know that glass skin kind of finish is really something that we all want to achieve. I think regardless of your skin type, I'm not the best. There's some certain parts of this makeup look that I want to incorporate, like kind of the Korean look. So here is the... Um, Tula Skincare Glow Kit Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I love this under the eyes. It does have kind of like a blue tint to it, but you know, it's gonna disappear under concealer. It removes that darkness under your eyes, wakes it up in a way, and just gives you that fresh face that Koreans normally have. I wanna put this iconic London. Very small drop right here. Okay, so just that very tiny drop, and I want to put it on the high parts of my face. Um, it's definitely very glowy and hydrating, but I think it's going to add to that glowy, glass-like skin like the Koreans have. So I'm going to put that on, and there's a reason why I chose this, actually. It's all about balancing the skin. I'm using a powder foundation from Fenty. I wanted to make sure that the skin underneath is well hydrated and very glowy. Fenty Beauty, I am set to review this month, so I am getting ready for that, and I do have a lot of thoughts and opinion for this one, but I feel like this blurring primer from Cover FX is definitely gonna help underneath the powder foundation. It just kind of gives you a more flawless look in a way. Basically fills in your pores. I don't know if you can tell, but it just blurred this area right here. Next is concealer, and I'm gonna use my L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer, one of the best. I just wanna take the hair away from my face real quick. This is, um, I forgot, I think it's Eco Tools. Or physician's formula i have to get back to you on that love this like sharp pointy and it just really gets into the corner of your eyes one thing to remember when using um powder foundations which i had to learn the hard way is that you want to put all of your wet products on your face first so liquid products i really don't know what i'm gonna do for my eye look i just know that i would love like the pink raspberry color scheme so it's gonna be simple it's not gonna be bold or colorful also in korea you don't go ham on the concealer like they don't do the whole total v-shape you know they only cover what's necessary so it's not gonna be heavy because they love to show their skin they have beautiful skin and i think that's why Vanessa and I love K-Beauty. I mean, that's something that her and I gravitate towards and that's something that her and I have in common. I think I'm ready for foundation. This is my Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Powder Foundation. I have the color 240. I wanna say I've used it a couple of times already, like five times. I can't wait to tell you guys all about this foundation. And I chose powder foundation specifically because it has kind of like a lighter coverage. I am going to speed through the rest of the makeup look. I am going to be using the Pat McGrath eyeshadow palette. And also I'm gonna use the Sephora um, Eye Stories palette in the f and they are called the Fresh Florals. So beautiful. I mean, I got this 
just on a whim when I was at Sephora and I thought I really love the colors. Like I love the mauve colors on this palette, so I'm gonna be using this. Let's go ahead and get started. that I forgot to do my brows so I'm gonna use the Milk Kush triple brow pen and this one was a recent purchase for me but it looks so unique um, but I've been really loving it like it's great at filling in your brows without being too harsh and I have the color Dutch Koreans really have more of a natural brow they don't want something very Harsh gives me that natural looking brows. So if you can see the difference between this and this, I actually like a more straight brow, not very arched like I have. So we're not following that trend, but I love that natural look that they have. Instead of very drawn and filled in, I have my brows on.
this is the final look. What do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed this look. I think at some point the eyeshadow got away from me and that's okay because I actually love how it turned out. I love like the glitter underneath my eyes. I used the, Vi the Vitality setting spray from MAC. It has that really nice glow or the glow glow that Vanessa likes to call it. On my lips, it has that very blotted look. I usually go with this very nude, like almost kind of nude that washes my lips out so that it has that kind of a lighter finish at the outer edges of my lips. And then I go in with this kind of bright, darker shade. Um, and this is my Pat McGrath in the middle. It gives you that youthful, natural look. I love this kind of lip combo and just this lip style in general, um, especially on a day to day. So it's very appropriate for a girl's night out without being too serious. So, like I said earlier, this is a giveaway video. And so let me show you guys what you could win. All of the details about the giveaway is gonna be in the description box below. So make sure to check that out. You do have to be subscribed to my channel. You have three chances of winning a giveaway. One from my channel, one from Jeannie's channel, and one from Vanessa's channel. Jeannie and Vanessa has one of the best giveaways. Jeannie, has all the good stuff and then vanessa she allows you to customize whoever the winner is she's going to let you choose from all of the items that she has and she has tons of makeup and beauty and skincare products for me it's going to be in this bag right here so let me just show you quickly i'm gonna choose one winner first item is gonna be the beauty bakery breakfast in bed palette it has purples like reddish purple warm purple kind of colors i've got two soon lip mask for you guys and then you get a choice just let me just show you because the packaging is so valentine galentine appropriate hot pink look at that twist up like so and you get to pick between Burberry Brit and Chloe, I believe. So you get to pick one or the other. You get one Bite Beauty Lipstick Crystal Cream Lip Crayon. Very nice shade that I think you guys can all use. Also get this three-piece Harper and Ari Cleansing and Exfoliating Sugar Cubes. Some deluxe size samples. The 24K Gold Premium Peel-Off Mask by Pure Aura. And then you also have the Mario Badescu Seaweed Night Cream. Seaweed is very hydrating, very nice night cream to try. And then the last item here, the After Spa Jade Facial Roller. That is everything that you will win in this giveaway. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did subscribe definitely check out Jeannie and vanessa's channel for their galentine look i'll link their channels in the description below as well as in the comments and with that said i hope you guys have a great rest of your day and i'll definitely see you back in my corner soon bye